My brothers and sisters, we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. These days, tension is a word which is the active vocabulary of most people. We recognize tension at work, tension within a marriage, tension about tension about and meet tension almost everywhere. Tension occurs when forces move in opposite directions. A simple example is a rubber band. Pull the ends away from each other and you produce tension. If the tension continues to increase, the rubber band will snap. Jesus warned that his doctrine would bring about tension which would end in divisions, even within families. In the family of the church, there is tension, especially in many places regarding the liturgy. We ought to be living like a happy family in unity and peace. But forces are pulling in opposite directions, one wishing to move forward with the restoration of Vatican II and the other wanting to go back to early theology and practices. From that uh, difficulty, Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II declared at an important meeting of the world's cardinals in the summer of 1994, the liturgy is doubtless at the center of the church life. The process of liturgical renewal in the spirit of the Second Vatican Council is continuing under the direction and supervision of the congregation of divine worship and the discipline of the sacrament. And we suppose not to stay in agreeing with the restoration of the liturgy, rather we need to focus on Jesus. Let us follow the advice of the letter to the Hebrews Let's keep our eyes fixed on Jesus who, is, who inspires and perfects us and perfects our faith. Of course, there have been abuses against the liturgy, but that is, not, that is no excuse for attacking the restored liturgy itself. We do not abandon the judicial system of our country just because some judges and juries fail to act in accord with justice. The abuse is not a system, but a contradiction of it. Do not end up on the wrong side against God as did the princes who wanted to put Jeremiah God's prophet to death. The promotion and restoration of the sacred liturgy is God's work through the Holy Spirit. Do not be the cause of tension in the church. Make sure you are pulling in the same direction as the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. Knowing how he would be rejected and would have to suffer for teaching God's message, he felt it only fair to warn his followers that they may be in for a lot of pain and suffering if they chose to follow him. Pain and suffering, of course, comes to everyone. Whether we are good, bad, or indifferent, a lot of times it's not the difficulties that come our way, 
that cause us pain and suffering. But the attitude we take toward them. Let us take the positive side of them instead of the negative ones that will lead you to the right way of following Jesus despite persecution and difficulties. You know, at the end, you will be with Jesus. We will continue to accompany you until you get to heaven. May God bless you.